Hey guys, Sam here at LA Studios. Today I want to show you a super simple way of renaming your inputs, outputs and buses so that Logic renames those every single time. You can set them up as a template every time you know that your bus is going to go to the right thing and it's going to be named exactly the way you want it. Let's check it out. So in this track, I've got a vocal that's going to my regular reverb, my regular delay, and I want to send it to a throw delay just for one particular part of the track. I'm going to automate that particular send, and it's just going to be kind of an effect. But I want it so that every time I open Logic, that's in my template, and every single time I can set that up, and I know it's called what I want it to be called. Let's see how we can do that. First off, I want to go up to Mix and go to I.O. Labels. From here, you can rename all your inputs, your outputs, and your buses. As standard, your interface will tell Logic what it wants an input or output to be called. I've renamed mine, so it's set to User. So I'm using an Audient ID44 interface, and I've got these inputs set up to ID44 1 to 4, and then I've got the ADAT coming in there as well, 8 preamps from an Octopre Dynamic from Focusrite. And this is uh, labelled Octopre Dynamic 1 to 8. So you can easily do this for inputs and outputs, but also buses. Let's see how you can do that. If I scroll down to my buses, I can see all the stuff that I have set up in my template. I've got drums, drum reverb, drum bomb, drum room. They're just some buses that I tend to use. And if I go over to my sends, I can see that these automatically come up in brackets. So the ones in brackets are the ones that you have set up as default in your template. If I go to bus 24, though, there's nothing there. I want Logic to tell me that's automatically always going to be my vocal throw delay. This is how we do it. Let's go to bus 24, scroll down slightly, and you'll see at the moment it's set to just be called bus 24. Let's go across and set this to user, and let's call this vox throw delay. If I press enter, then every time I now go into that bus, it's going to be called vox throw delay. Let's send it to that bus. We can rename our bus down here, vox throw delay, and then we can set our delay as we like it. I'm going to automate this particular delay so that it's going to be main vox throw delay comes up and I can just automate that one section so that it goes to my delay. Super simple way of making Logic tell you exactly what your buses are before you've even used them. If you've got a template that you set up, this is an integral part of that, of working really quickly. Every single time you know that bus 24 is your vox throw delay. Thanks so much for checking it out. Make sure you check out the rest of the channel and I'll see you again soon. Take care.